everyone loves pops and bangs. So today I'm going to show you how to do it on the standard ECU on my Forrester STI. I'm just following a Tesla. Poor people, they're never going to experience this. So the first thing, open up the file. Um, in this case, I've got the file open in ECU Edit, which is pretty easily accessible by most people. So we've got, got the ROM open here. Uh, I'm going to come down to Ignition Time in Advance and into the Base Timing Map. And as you can see, we've got columns going across the top, which relate to engine load. So the higher the load, the more boost, essentially, or the more load on the engine. And down the side is revs. So if we're wanting uh, the exhaust to pop and bang, coming back down the revs here, so rather than running 45 degrees of ignition timing, we're going to run that at about minus 10 degrees. And what that will do is start the spark a bit later so let's save that map. Another thing that we need to change is when you're on the overrun and coming back down the revs, it will put in a minimum ignition timing, which will uh, effectively stop it popping and banging. So rather than 23.95 degrees of ignition timing, we want to run that again, probably around that minus 10 mark. So again, save that map. So that will start the spark later, but the next thing, unless there's any fuel there, we're not going to get any pops and bangs. So in my XML definitions, I've got um, overrun fueling, which is showing an RPM that the fueling starts or resumes. So I'm just going to put in um, when the engine's warm here. Um, around 6,000 RPM. So it's going to add fuel on the overrun, some fuel anyway. And save that. Right, let's save that file as something else. Give it a number. Right, now let's put that in the car. So summer has actually arrived here in Bournemouth, finally. So I've decided to clean the car. Looking nice and shiny today. Laptop on the seat. And we want to be looking for the OBD plug, which is here. Which I'll plug my cable into. And there's the green test mode connectors up under the dashboard up here. I think you should just be able to see those there. So I will connect to those. Two seconds. As you can see, I've got a switch cable in here near the end of that switch, or the other end of that cable. There's a little on off switch just tells me when the test mode connectors are joined. So if I flick that on, we should be ready to write. So I've done Alt F11 and that's bringing up the programming window. You could equally use ECU Flash or um, any other software to do this, but I'm using ECU Edit because it works very nicely for me. So, you know, put the ignition on now, switch off the immobiliser and then we're ready to programme. It's going through all the parts of the file that I've changed there. Sending them up to the ECU. Should take about a minute. 
If this ever errors while it's doing this, do not switch the ignition off. Just try again. If you switch the ignition off, the ECU is dead. So don't do that. Okay, so that's all done. Let's quit out of that. Switch the ignition off. Switch the test mode connector cable off. And then it's ready to start. So pops and bangs were achieved. Write in the comments below as to what your thoughts on the pops and bangs are, uh, whether you like them, whether they're cool, whether they're chavvy, uh, you tell me down below. If you remember back to when I was putting the negative ignition um, timing in the, in the map, you'll note that I put the timing in from 2800 upwards that's just basically so that I can drive without having to pop some bangs all the time because once you've flashed it into the ECU uh, it's there you can't switch it on or off um, so it's best to have it so that you can drive quietly should you need to It's very easy to get bored of the pops and bangs, uh, very easy to annoy people, um, and there are downsides as well. It does take a bit of extra life out of the turbo and sensors. But it's good fun. Uh, if you like what I'm trying to do with the videos, then um, please like, or subscribe or both and share it around there'll be more of these types of videos going into some of the detail on the map inside of things uh, fairly soon um, I've got a few other ideas that um, and a few other videos that I've filmed in the last couple of days that I just need to get around to editing now because that's the time consuming process um, making the videos is easy but editing um, is quite a slow process. I'll just leave you with some more pops and bangs. Thank you for watching. See you next time.